Welcome back beauties, D. Beasley here. As you can tell from the title of this video, we're gonna do a little bit of graphic liner today. I have some pigments from Mayo Makeup Pigments that I have not played in. I have not used the mixing medium that I purchased to go along with them and I really didn't know what to do with it. So I wanted to come on here and show you all this look. I am using the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. Um, I really, really like the shades in here. A lot of them are not brown girl friendly, not going to lie. They're a little ashy. But I think it's really cute and I feel like they can be used. They have these gorgeous, they have some really pretty shimmers here. And these are like the only two deep shades in the palette. So yeah, that's her Mercury Retrograde palette. But I forgot when this came out, but I really got it for 50% off. So it's cool. We got new batteries for the mic. We are on and pop, like everything is everything around here, okay? Just saying. So, if y'all want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, sis. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Turn it on. All that's right down here, honey. And if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. <coughs> welcome back, beauties. <laughs> Steve Beasley here. Hey y'all. So let's plan some makeup. I'm going to start off by using this Milani Rose Butter Lip Mask. As I can tell, I've been using that. I try to use it every day. Because I haven't repurchased my Laneige. So it makes my lips feel amazing. What's going on, honey? It's a good old Saturday night. We still got Corona going on. And you know, I got me another. Well, I have a couple of these. I keep these on hand. Precisely my brow benefit pencil number five. So what I'm going to do today, I want to do, I want to try out graphic liner. So I have some of these Mayo makeup pigments that I want to try. And I think I want to use like the teal blue one. So I'm going to see how that's going to work. I have so much new makeup that I have not tried out because like I haven't been putting it on to go to work. So I'm like really like it's kind of like a dead zone because I only put on makeup like lately to sit here on YouTube or actually like um, take pictures, which I haven't done either because I either been working. My weekends are mostly um, client based, but or client field I want to say and when I get off work I'm trying to work out and get my little workout in you know my collarbone trying to collarbone trying to peek through just a little bit see that see I know y'all see it but I do want to play in this Ooh, this is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette um, I picked this up from I picked this up during the Sephora 4th of July sale and it was I want to say I feel like it was 50% off but this is what those shadows look like Ooh, no, I'm trying not to blind y'all hold on this is what those shadows look like giving me very much ashy very much extraterrestrial and very much galaxy very much what these gonna look like on me but I do want to do my face first so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna take this Anastasia foundation this is the luminous foundation in the shade 480c I've been wearing this the last two videos I want to say and this is maybe like two and a half pumps of foundation we are going to prime because I was about to forget let's use this uh, Smashbox photo finish iconic primer stick it's supposed to mattify, but I don't know if it does that or not. I just normally swipe it all over my face. I have stuff I've been trying to like use up. Oh, that did mattify me though. Carve out my brows right before I'm about to do my eyes. Now 
And I've been liking the color and coverage of this foundation. It's very full coverage. Um, it's not as full coverage as my Huda Beauty. Nothing. And I mean nothing. It's as full coverage. As flawless as that foundation. I'm actually going to do my top 5 foundation video. I hope I ain't get too much of a tan. Because I've been walking out on the track in the sun. I try not to go when the sun is just like straight out. But... It's a little ashy looking. We're going to fix it. It's okay. I got new batteries for the microphone. So if we have a mishap this time around, I know something. I know there's a conspiracy going on and I am not here for it. Okay. So, Deep Cinnamon Elf 16 Hour Concealer. Y'all may be tired of me using this concealer, but I really, really like it. We're going to take our Earth Foundation Stick by Anastasia. They have these at Ulta Girl for the low. I swear for a good... How much was that? $11, 12 And I don't know why. Because I feel like they're like $30. The Foundation Stick on Anastasia's website is like $30, which I don't know why. And I'm not going to let that concealer uh, set. You can let it sit for a little bit, but really no. I'm literally doing my makeup to do nothing. I am going to be making me a fresh little picture of margaritas. And probably sitting on the back patio <laughs> and doing nothing. I may make them and take the picture to my cousin's house because it's always a good time with her. Let me know down in the comment section if y'all want to see me and my cousin do our makeup here. Because we can make that happen next weekend. We've been talking about it for a while. Me and her just have not done it. But I think we need to like make that a to-do. This is the shade Deep Olive. Just going to take a little swipe. I have mentioned it to her before. And also, if you are interested in seeing me doing other people's makeup, let me know. I think that would be cool. Um, I'll just have to set, figure out how to set that up with my setting, my, my setup or whatever. But I will be absolutely into that. That look good. And I'm just going to take this Japanese number 718 brush and blend out that cream contour that we created with that foundation stick and i also i want to do a lock update i've talked about that in my last three videos but i didn't get enough questions so i guess nobody cares but y'all still gonna get the video yes y'all still gonna get the video even if y'all don't care so I'm just going to generate some commonly asked questions that I receive. Um, and we're going to just go from there. I feel like if I did my makeup more, I would be more motivated to film. But the fact of the matter is, when you wear a mask, <laughs> it's so hard to like, how are you motivated to like put something on? Because it literally is like rubbing off all your makeup as soon as you put your mask on so it's kind of like i don't want to say discouraging but it's slick discouraging bro like sleek discouraging i'm gonna take this bedellium tools number 936 brush and we're just going to use that to carve out under our brows I know y'all gonna get tired of me using it, so I'm gonna have to find a way to incorporate my other concealers into my collection. So that's why I try to use the Laura Mercier concealer in the last video. And I'm so sorry that my mic cut off, y'all. I swear I am. Cause I couldn't even y'all couldn't even hear me talking about none of the rest of the products, but we're here today. We're here today. It's okay. 
it's okay it's okay i'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye and i'm going to use this um diamond blend powder this is the shade cool beige Ooh, look at the finish of that powder baby Put some in our smile lines. And then I'm going to take this um, bronzer in the shade Coco Naughty. I'm going to use it to set my lids before it gets to creasing and stuff. Just give me a little flush of color. We're going to come back to that. I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face though. I'm going to use this Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. In the shade deep i love this powder it's an amazing powder very soft it reminds me of the max uh mineralized skin finishes it just doesn't have like that mineralized like glow because the mineralized skin finishes are good for people with dry skin i know people with oily skin use it all the time i can't use them myself because it's normally used to give you a glow, mineralized. That's the key word. So I like this particular powder myself. Ooh, see how smooth it is? Girl, 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 girl. Yeah. We're gonna take this Sephora Pro Palette to bronze. I really love using this to bronze and to put blush on last week or whenever I was here last time, nobody knows. But I'm going to use the shade Jet Setter, which is, sorry y'all, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to use that to bronze my face. I told y'all, or y'all couldn't hear me, Lord. When they have another sale, I have to get the medium one, y'all. This is... An amazing palette it has little to no fallout like straight up like I'm dipping my brush in here and it's like not any fallout I don't know why but they should have formulated from what I hear the eyeshadows are not like this the eyeshadows are literally like there's fallout so I'm like why y'all didn't make the eyeshadows like this which y'all got time to fix it because when I tell you there's literally no fallout I ain't got to worry about no fallout. And I'm not using my favorite bronzer brush because both of them are dirty. <sighs> I hate it. I hate it here. I hate it here. Both of them are dirty. Why you say? I don't know. I don't know why they're dirty. I'm going to take the shade Premier, which is this blush here. Tap it off. Look how big. Look at that. I'm gonna fix it, y'all. It's stupid pigmented, like dumb, stupid pigment. It's looking bright on camera, but it's not looking that bright. But I like blush. I know a lot of people don't like blush, but I love blush. It gives you the little splash of color that you need. I kind of decide do I want to go and get me some lash extensions done again because. I really like them when I get them done. I like it because I don't get them done all the time. So, yeah. Let me set my brows with this brow setter by Benefit 2. 24 hour brow setter. Benefit needs to sponsor your girl. Like they should be the first ones to sponsor me. Cause these are always the products I use. And I feel like we tag so many, like even when I do my, my uh, posts and stuff on Instagram, I pay, I tag so many people, I feel like the brands see you, but they just don't recognize you. And I don't feel like I'm a bad makeup artist at all. Like I'm not, you know what I'm saying, color du jour or anything, but you know, I feel like, I feel like I'm pretty decent. I'm going to go in with this shade Off Balance, which is right here. I'm just gonna play around a little bit. I'm just gonna put it all over actually. Mm 
There's not too much ash there. It's good to like pat uh, like a matte shade to get it to pack on. Huda Beauty palettes are some of my favorite palettes. Even her mini palettes, and I've gotten those on sale. I've gotten every last one of her palettes on sale, I think. Maybe, possibly, surely, I'm sure. Right? Maybe not. So I'm going to... I'm going to go in with the shade Haze, which is this blue on the end. It's a teal blue. And I'm packing it on both sides as well. Tapping off the excess because I don't know how crazy that's going to be. You know, that's giving me ash vibes. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to keep that color on. Let me sweep this away. Okay. I know that threw us off a little bit. We're just going to keep the shade off balance all over. And then we're going to go in with this teal blue and do some some swiping then we're gonna go in with the teal blue and do some graphic liner and see how that looks because i feel like that'll be cuter i'm gonna take some of this shade hot mess which is this burgundy right here and then we're gonna put that in our crease I have really high hopes for this palette and I feel like we definitely should give it a chance. Ooh. Okay, let's go into the liner. So I have this very, very, very fine, ultra fine actually, eyeliner from Bedellium Tools. This is in the number 706. So I'm going to use it to do my um, graphic liner. This is the shade that I wanna do. Again, this is by Mayo Makeup. This is one of their pigments. And it looks like it has some like reflex in it, which will be cool. We're going to do a black wing liner first. And then we're going to go on top of it with that metallic blue. I need a mirror. Oh my God. So the blush binder by the crayon case the blush binder by the crayon case is coming out next week and i can't wait somebody asked me one of my clients thought that they had sent me like this backpack i had purchased i'm like girl no oh that wing looked fire This is the Sephora Black Eyeliner 2. Um, it's amazing. It's very matte. Kiki Adams put me on this. Owner of the Glow Up Academy. Kiki Adams is fire. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this. Um, I don't know where I just did that. I'm going to take a little bit of this mixing medium that I have from Mayo Makeup and I'm going to mix it in this lid. Can y'all see it? know if you can see it. Can y'all see it? Slick nerve wrecking. 
Okay, 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 okay. I like that. I'm gonna bring that color down to this uh, shade hot mess. That deep burgundy. I don't even want to call it a burgundy, but it's like a deeper purple. A deeper lilac purple. Because it's not really like, like a real deep purple. Okay, I got to tell y'all what I ran across like yesterday downtown area we have this downtown district called um south on main they have it to where they have like an outdoor like is it an outdoor restaurant yeah that's what they call it it's not saying exactly like which restaurant i guess so but i thought it was really neat because they had it like under this tent and they just had like um i guess they were out and this guy was like playing his guitar i thought it was really neat because people are tired of being inside. Like literally. Over it. This is the Max Stubborn Brown PowerPoint Eyeliner. I haven't used it in a while. So I was like. Who's that? Um, I do want to use a new mascara. This is the Black Marker Mascara. From the Crayon Case. This is what it looks like. Looks like a marker basically. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh. Okay. Okay, super. It's grabbing them bottom lashes though. Before I put my lashes on, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Fenty Coco Naughty to contour my nose. Gotta get that nose snatched. Gotta get that nose next. See, I have this whole bag of pigments that I really need to use. I actually want to add these to the Slate Lash Collection, but we're trying them out. Love these. What do y'all think? I feel like I want my under eye to be a little bit darker. I do want a darker under eye, so I'm gonna take um, the LA Girl Glide Eyeliner. I'm sorry, Glide Gel Liner pencil, and give me a little bit. Oh, yeah. I have really been loving like lipsticks, not liquid lipsticks, but actual lipsticks. Ah, oh, love that. It's creamy. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Dominique. Ooh. To highlight, I want to take this So Hollywood Loose Highlighter. Ooh. Ooh. Girl, I ain't going to never not want to wear highlighter. Like neighbor, we're trying to get y'all like a little side profile. <laughs> this one is not as is it as luminous? I, why do I feel like the the last one I used was ooh? Enough to make you want to sit on down somewhere. Sit on down, honey. I'm gonna take the shade Cosmic. Which is here and I'm gonna put it in my inner tear duct. I feel like I'm missing something like right there. There you go. I was missing something. Okay, beauty, so here's the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm just wanna come on here and try something new. I have never done like colorful graphic liner. I feel like I've done, I did the white but i've never used my pigments that i've had for quite a while so i wanted to come on here plan some makeup with you all this is a little different for myself i don't know i hope you all enjoyed this video um don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section and until next time i'll see y'all later bye beauties